Hey guys, welcome to the Palletful Packs YouTube channel. My name is Alice and I have the September Palletful Packs right here in front of me. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, so we have green paper in here and then we have some fun supplies hiding underneath. So let's pull them out. So the first thing that I see in here is this Koinor two hole sharpener. Because it's two holes, it does have a large one on top for an oversized pencil as well as one for a regular pencil. The cap is clip on so you can easily take it off to empty it out and it will be there to help prevent spills. All right, so the next thing that we have in here is this Koinor Tritone Blender. So this is the blender pencil. So they mentioned that this is actually an extra blender so that you can blend to your heart's content. You have all of the blenders. The next thing in here are these Art Alternatives Pigment Liners. There are three in here. They are in the sizes 0 0.1, 0 0.3, and 0 0.5. These are great for illustration, technical drawing, sketching, lettering, all of that great stuff. They have really durable nibs. They're supposed to produce fine lines and are supposed to be great for detail work. They're acid-free and archival quality water-based pigment ink, and it's water and fade resistant when it is dry. So now we come to the big thing. This is the Tritone set. This comes with 11 pencils with multicolored leads and a blender pencil. So 12 pencils in total and we have two blender pencils in total as well in this box. So these are really, really interesting pencils. They're supposed to be able to make it so that you can create really great depth in color pencil uh, drawings and the way that it does this is by making up the core of three different colored leads that are braided together and their braiding process ensures that the colors like alternate with minimal wrist movement so they should just alternate naturally and the colors that they chose to mix were intentionally chosen so that they're color combinations that are like typically found in nature and will have good like tonal and color harmonization these are professional grade colored leads and they're supposed to meld color as they lay down so these are similar, I feel, to a lot of those really fun multicolored pencils that you've seen in the past, but these are designed to be a little bit more efficient from an artist's perspective for actually creating artwork instead of just like creating rainbow lines. And then down at the bottom on each pencil, you can see it is painted the colors, the three colors that are in each pencil. The last thing that is in here is this Bristol board. This is the Strathmore Bristol board and it's actually their 400 series, which is their best series. So this is a nine by 12 pad. It has 15 sheets. It's bound on the left side. And the great thing about Bristol board is it has a very smooth surface, which is great for fine drawing, but it's a heavier weight and they work for a great variety of media as well. Okay, so this is everything that you're going to get in the September 2019 Premier Pack, the Tritone Pencils Pack. I'm really, really excited to dive in and try these pencils. I've never tried anything like them, and these seem like a really, really interesting supply, so I can't wait to give them a try. So let's just go ahead and make some art. Okay, so the first thing that I had to do, especially with these pencils, was swatch them. And I thought that would give me like a little bit of an idea as to how the color variance braided core thing worked. And so that's why I made my swatches a lot bigger than normal so that I could hopefully see all the different color gradients. And some were definitely more visible in the swatches than others. It just kind of depends. Um, so I, I found that some were more visible or useful in the actual like picture they kind of showed up more those different tones and then some really really showed up right away so the blue and red one that creates this sort of gray color in the top right the dark green and then that first color that i used you can really see the tone variance in those guys um, and then some of the others are a little bit more subtle but my first impressions laying out the swatches were really great i was like wow these are really uh pigmented and like very smooth and creamy and so I'm ex I was excited to try them and these liners the pens actually worked decently well over even like the well built up areas of the color pencil which I was pleasantly surprised about a lot of times color pencil builds up really really waxy and a lot of like marker fine liners won't stick to it so that was really really exciting to see that but 
yeah. So I started out by sketching the general layout of what I was going to draw and because these pencils were drawn from colors in nature and um, the examples pictures were both out in nature I thought it would be a good idea to do a landscape. I can always use more practice in landscapes and I had conveniently recently been to a very very scenic view in my state and so I already had a reference photo that I could use on my phone which was very very exciting. Um, so what I did was I started out by gently sketching everything in and then I went in with the sky first just to give myself a kind of idea as to how the pencils work and that was really nice to build up um, some variant tones in the sky and then I went in with this darker toned green pencil to really start trying to lay out some of the overall shadows that were in the back kind of valley of my reference photo and it was really really interesting working with these because I felt like I had a lot more control than I thought that I was going to. I was worried that I wouldn't have very much control with the braided core but it was actually really 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 easy to control and it basically made it really easy to get kind of some cool tones in the shadows and um, some visual mixing in the shadows. So for example, in the red and blue pencil, when you lay it down, if you look closely at it, you can kind of see those red and blue tones overlapping each other and mixing, and it just makes all of your shadows and all of your colors look a little bit more complex and it gives them a lot more depth without having to use so many different colored pencils. It's a lot easier and quicker to get all of these different mixes and to create more natural looking shadows and tones. So I really, really, uh, I, was, I was very excited by these pencils and how they worked. They blended out really, really well with the blender pencil as well, which was very interesting. And I felt like it was great that they gave you an extra blender pencil because you do go through the blender decently quickly. So after I had laid down a little bit of the hazy background, I went in with the fine liner to define some of the more details that were going to be in the front because I want the front, the foreground to be a little bit more in focus. And then I also defined a couple areas of trees and forest in the background, but closer to the front, like the foreground area and started to develop some of the trees on the rock in front as well. So I kind of worked down using the blue first and then going in with the green and then finally going in and working on the rocks and then kind of just jumping around the whole piece putting on finishing touches and tying everything together. For the rocks, I got to use a lot of the orange and warmer toned colored pencils. And those were really great to use because especially with the rocks, there's so much variance in the different like striations of rocks and rocks just have a lot of different variant colors in. I think we all have seen that. And so it made it a lot easier to get these more realistic colors and tones in the rocks. So I really enjoyed that as well. It worked great for all of the different colors. So those were really exciting and I enjoyed trying them out. The pencil sharpener was really, really helpful to have, especially for the blender. The blender was really interesting because you could sharpen it again and again to get a really fine point and go into areas to create and add more detail and blend more detail out. Speaking of the blender, one thing that I did was I blended out things quite a bit and then I went back in over the top with more pencil and I didn't blend that out and what that does is that creates kind of a contrast between the more blurred out values and then the sharper more textured values and that's going to create more visual interest for you as well and you're going to be able to establish a more of an atmospheric perspective so the things that are closer to you are a little bit sharper and darker. So that is a tip that I have for you guys with the blender pencil. The paper worked wonderfully with these pencils. It held up really, really well and it had a really nice texture that enables you to really, really blend and create a really nice solid color if that's what you want to do. Or if you layer it a little bit lighter, you get a really nice kind of lighter texture that does show through. So. All the supplies that really do work well in conjunction with one another. And I think that you guys are going to have such a blast playing with these different supplies. I really did. I 
feel like this palette full packs is such a fun pack this month so i really hope that you guys enjoy it i can't wait to look at all of the hashtags and see what you guys have made with your braided colored tritone pencils Make sure that you are subscribed to the Palettful Packs YouTube channel so that you can see all of our future unboxings and demos. And if you are interested in Palettful Packs, then you can check out the link below and you can take a look at all of our different options. And I really hope that you enjoyed this demo and found it useful. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next month. Take care.